All right, thanks for joining us tonight, everybody. Um, this is our first Coach Basics call. Um, I know everyone is either tired from a long day of being at home with the kids or you have a full-time job like I do and you just got home and ate dinner in 20 minutes and here you are because <laughs> that's what happened to me. Um, but we do really appreciate you all taking the time out of your days. We know how important family time is. Um, so we'll kind of just get right to it for tonight. We're just gonna, you know, me and Tracy are just gonna introduce ourselves. Most of you probably know me, but I do wanna just talk about my story. This way you guys can learn how to fashion your own stories. Cause that's kind of what we were talking about in our posts for today in the group was kind of telling your story on social media. Um, so if you've heard my story before, I pretty much say it verbatim, the same thing over and over and over. And you'll get used to it. So when people ask you how you got started or, you know, what's this beach body thing, you can literally just, oop, <laughs> there you go. So I first started off about two and a half years ago. Um, I'm a full-time athletic trainer. So I graduated college, got into my full-time job, and I realized I wasn't living the athletic trainer, you know, I wasn't being that person that I was telling my kids to. I wasn't being healthy. I was gaining a ton of weight, obviously drinking way too much. Um, and then I was at a Super Bowl party with, with a bunch of my friends, with my boyfriend, husband at the time now. And, you know, all those crazy foods were there with um, the pretzels that you dip in the cheese and the chocolate and the, the wings. Like, I had all of it. And I, I felt like crap because I ate it all. And I was thinking to myself, I hope I don't look as bad as I feel. Well, I sat down in one of those high bar stools and I realized, wow, yeah, I look as bad as I feel and I had that muffin top come over and I was just so embarrassed. Like I, I really think my face got like bright red. I could feel like the heat coming off of me. Um, and I was like, oh God, I need to do something about this. And that was my big aha moment. And I remember my brother telling me about this program he was doing called Insanity. And I've heard about it, you know, seen it on the infomercials and I just thought it was for crazy people. Um, but, you know, he said he did it at home, it was a DVD, and I was like, you know what, what do I have to lose? Like, I couldn't go to a gym, um, I didn't have time, I worked late at night, it, it just wouldn't have worked out for me. So, I got Insanity off of, I think it was like Craigslist or Amazon, which is like a big beach body no-no, because you don't get a coach. So, I didn't have any help for when I went through my transformation, but for the 60 days of Insanity, I lost 30 pounds, and I was an absolute shock. Um, I didn't take before and after pictures because I was embarrassed, obviously, of my before picture. And I really didn't know that I should have done that because I'm sure I could have won a crap load of money too because Beachbody will award, gives, you know, daily prizes and monthly prizes too. But coming from the health and fitness industry, my entire life I played soccer and then through college, I never thought you could really get in the best shape of your life with a, a TV, like DVD, you know, infomercial thing. I thought it was like all a scam. Um, but when it was finally me, when it was me like stepping on the scale and me like, wow, I can actually like fit in my pants again or I need to buy new pants because now they don't fit because they're too loose and they're falling down. Um, it was a big eye opener that something like this could help me. And I'm like, hmm, there is something to this that is bigger than just me. So I finally went on to the Team Beach Body website to get a coach because I wanted to kind of just know, like it was just intriguing to me. So I got connected with my coach, Lisa. And she told me about Shakeology and another workout program because obviously I did not want to gain the 30 pounds back because I was a huge yo-yo dieter and gaining 30 pounds, not fun to do that again. Um, so, she mentioned all those things to me and about becoming a coach. And I thought she was nuts because I didn't know her. You know, they're just randomly assigned. Um, but something told me, like, to trust my gut. And my gut was saying, just do it. Just go for it. Because I was burnt out at the time. I was 28 of my job. I'm like, oh, my God. I've only been doing this for four years. And I'm already burnt out. Like, and I have to do this for, like, 35, 40 more years. So hope, hopefully get a pension when I'm 65 and then live my life. It just didn't um, sit well with me with that kind of mentality. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do it. So that was two and a half years ago. Um, and I don't know if most of you know, but I'm actually leaving my full-time job in, I think, eight days, eight, like, calendar day or eight weekdays. Um, 
what was it October 21st is my last day. And I never knew coming into this that it was possible. Of course, my coach told me it was, but until I actually started seeing, okay, six months, six months into it, I was earning, you know, I wasn't earning that month. This, this isn't like a, a get rich quick scheme type of thing. It's really about just being consistent and that compound effect takes place. So maybe the first six months I was making a hundred bucks um, every week. Um, after a year, maybe I was making like $200 and then the, my second year is when things like exploded. I went from making like a thousand dollars one week to making $2,000 the next week and it blew my mind. Um, and I've been able to just have a really see that, that freedom, not just financially, but just like we're moving to, so we're able to buy that house we always wanted to buy. We're able to move back down to the shore. We're able, to, I feel like I just have control over my life again and not feeling like so stressed out and running the rat race. Um, I was just telling Tracy before the call, I, I have 56 days, accru six days accrued because with my job at my high school, you can't take off. There's no like sub teacher. There's no sub athletic trainer that comes in to cover for you. I took off one day last week and my boss called me in today. He's like, you know, you can't do that. I'm like, I have like 56 days. I'm like, I am moving. Like I need to get things done. I have to pack my, pack my house up. And he's like, you're not checked out yet. And I'm like, like give me a break, buddy. Like, I'll be, I'm going to be checking out real soon, but I'm not going to have that anymore. I'm going to be my own boss. And that's kind of what I wanted to tell you guys tonight is this is your own business. We can give you everything that has worked for me, worked for Tracy. We're going to give that to you, but you have to BYOB, be your own boss, take charge. You know, you, what's great is being your own boss. You can tell yourself when you don't have to work. And when you do have to work. So, of course, it's easy to say, oh, I don't have to do that to yourself. Um, so that's where being dedicated, being consistent, and having that compound effect, doing those small little things every single day. Of course, it's easy to skip your workout. Um, but it's easy to do your workout, too. What's 25, 30 minutes in your day? It's easy to not post on Facebook. But it's easy to post on Facebook. Um, it's easy to listen to 10 minutes of personal development each day. It's easy not to do it. So you just have to really take charge and know that if you want to be successful at this, whatever it means for you, you know, for me, it was leaving my full-time job. Um, for you, it might be something completely different. And that's why the first day we had you kind of, or the second day was your why of like why you're doing this. So you can really start dreaming again. And that's one thing that I, I, wasn't doing anymore. I was kind of just, okay, I'm here. I'm just doing my job until I'm 65 and I'll dream. I don't know when I'm dead. Um, but now I actually have goals that I set. I have things I want to reach. I want, I have places I want to go. I have, you know, things I want to do with my family and all that kind of stuff. And I've never felt like I was, you know, I was just a normal person. Like why, why would normal me be able to have those things in my life? And you can, if you just allow yourself to, if you just open yourself up to being positive and, and putting in a little hard work. This isn't easy. Um, you know, it, it's, it's easy to just say, I got to know this person said, no, all right, this is, this is not for me. You're going to get naysayers. You're going to get haters. You're going to get people that don't believe in you and you're going to get many, many no's. But when you get that one, yes, that one person that you can absolutely see and change their life and you can see that effect happening celebrate that because that is where the magic happens is when you do get that yes and you really do get to change somebody's life and know you know what forget all those people who think what I'm doing is wrong you're helping people get healthy and fit 80% of Americans are I mean I don't need to tell you ladies this are overweight obese uh, heart disease all this stuff we're trying to make people live longer. Um, so I know I kind of digress a little bit, but be your own boss and take charge of this because it really can be a huge, you know, drive in your life, whatever, whatever goals that you guys want to reach. Um, 
I just want to touch upon two other things and I'll, I'll let Tracy talk so I don't take up the entire time. Um, I mentioned this in the team page the other day. Be here a year from today. So be here, what is it, October 7th, 2016. And if you are committed to those three vital behaviors, doing those simple things every single day, I promise you, you will see a huge difference in you, your, your mindset, your bank account, um, just how you feel about yourself, how others look at you. Um, you will really see a huge just change in your life completely. Will you be a millionaire? No. Um, will you be able to quit your full-time job in a year? Hey, it, it could be possible. Um, I did it in, uh, what, like two and a half years. My three-year anniversary would be in, on Valentine's Day of 2016. So it's like almost two and a half. Um, so just be here and be committed. And you will succeed if you're in this for a year. And I tell myself that, you know, when the when times get tough, of course, the easy thing is to quit. But if you say, you know what, as long as I, and that was one of my things too, you know, even if I just got healthy and gave myself the right nutrition, then this is this is success. Even if I don't help anybody, even if I don't make any money, if I'm helping myself be a better person and be healthy then that's a win-win situation. And this business you literally can do from anywhere. As long as you pretty much have Wi-Fi, as long as you have a phone that you can talk to people, as long as you can be face-to-face -face with people, you can do this business. It's $115 a month. You literally drink your business as a meal. What other business can you drink your business? Like, that doesn't make sense. Um, this business is obviously super low cost. It's not our Starbucks. You don't have to buy the Starbucks logo and hire employees and buy all the coffee and have coffee makers and get liability insurance. No, this business is like so, so stupid simple that, I mean, you can search on YouTube or Google all the other Beachbody coaches that have done this before. So... What we're teaching in Coach Basics, um, other coaches have taught that out there. So if there's information that you want to learn, I mean, you can just go for it. You know, Lindsay Matway, she was the top coach two, two years in a row. And, and, you know, everyone puts all of their information on online. So you can learn from any coach that you, that you literally want to. Um, and that's why Beachbody is so great. You know, with other companies, or if, like, you, you work at a – you know, a desk job or something, people like stab you in the back. Like they don't want you getting a raise. They don't want you getting that other position. Whereas Beachbody, it's like, okay, we're here to help you. And we don't care if you're on this team or that team or whatever. Like we're all here just to help to end the trend of obesity because it's so big because there's so many people only I can help. But I need Tracy to help me and I need Kirsten to help me get more, you know, help more people. So we are all kind of in this together. Um, and with telling your story, what we had you guys kind of, what we wanted you to do in your post for today, even if you've already posted, you're kind of coming out of the closet post that you're a Beachbody coach, post it again because nine times out of 10, only I think like, what is it? 10%, not even like 4% of your friends actually see what you post. I'll say that again. Only 4% of your friends on Facebook see what you post. Everyone else does not see it. Your newsfeed is kind of a calculation of who you message, what pages that you visit. Um, if you like or comment on their stuff, then you can see what people post. But all those other people don't. So you need to be consistent with posting about your story. I'm not saying beach body vomit on people every single day. I'm saying, you know, change it up. Show people what you're eating. Show people what you're doing on the weekends with your family. Show people... Um, you know, jeans that you want to fit into or jeans that you can fit into now. There's so many different ways of telling your story that you can change it up so it's not going to be the same thing over and over and over again. And we, I posted um, today top coaches you can follow. Follow people on our team and you can see how we go about it without being salesy, without posting 21 day fixes on sale this month. <laughs> no one wants that. Um, Nobody wants to see Autumn, a picture of Autumn. No one knows who, who, who that is. And if they do, they can't relate to her. People want to see our face. People want to believe in us. People want to trust us. People want to like us. So when you post, make sure 
post about you. Um, people care about why you do it, not what you do. People care why you do it, not what you do. People don't care that there are 70 superfoods in Shakeology. People don't care that it's on sale this month with uh, 21 Day Fix for 140 bucks. No one cares about that. People care why you do it. People care the reason behind that you don't want to feel that, um, for instance, you know, your wedding is coming up and you don't want to feel like you have to get your dress tailored because you're not going to be able to fit into it. You know, get to that emotional side of things where people can go, oh my God, I totally relate to that. Or, you know, being that mom that, you know, five months after being, um, having the baby, like you're still trying to lose the weight. People can relate to that struggle. People can relate to why you're drinking Shakeology and doing the 21 day fix when they know the reason behind it. Not just the, bleh, here's Shakeology or the, here's Autumn. People care about your story, your struggles and your successes. So when you have those successes, definitely shout it out to the world. All right. That's my little thing for tonight. Tracy, um, go ahead, introduce yourself and, um, I'll be quiet. Hey everybody. My name is Tracy. Um, I'm a Southern girl from North Carolina that hence the accent. You know, it's like Rose said with social media, it's going to be your best friend. Um, I've always been the person who's done the yo-yo diets. I've done, I'm going to do no carbs for two weeks. I'm going to take a diet pill. I'm going to, you know, anything I could think of, I would do it. I was 200 pounds at my heaviest. Um, and I did lose some weight on my own. And one day, um, I was reading Facebook and one of my friends popped up and his wife had tagged him in a post about her challenge groups and I was like hmm, wonder what that is so I added her on Facebook and I just you know whenever someone clicks on your Facebook you know in a second they're gonna form an opinion of what type of person you are and Rachel's my upline coach when I had clicked on her Facebook you know I liked what I saw I was like oh and I didn't even know Rachel I knew her husband I'm like oh it seems like she's got everything together you know just the things she would post about how she's working on herself from the inside out I was like you know that's what I need to do I need to be more confident in myself so I was like let me send her a message and so I did you never know who you're going to reach like Rachel never thought I would have messaged her before but I did and here I am today. I can remember doing Coach Basics thinking, Rose is crazy. What? I, I remember it was Rose and Courtney doing Coach Basics, and I was sitting there just like you guys were, and I was like, you know, I, New Jersey must have, like, something totally different going on because where I'm from, we have one stoplight. We have a Bose grocery store, organic food. You know, you have to drive like an hour and a half to get anything organic. So like whenever I say I come from a small town, one stoplight people. I'm from a place called Butters, North Carolina. You know that butter we're not supposed to eat? Well, that's where I'm from. So here in Rose and them talking about, oh, I'm doing this. And I was like, this is not going to work. And everybody was telling me, no, no, Tracy, I don't want to join you. Because I'm like, come on, join me. Because my whole thing was, I want to get my Shakeology paper. You guys, come on, join me. And it wasn't working. Whenever I finally, you know, started actually doing my workout, sticking to my meal plan, that's whenever I finally, you know, started being a product of the product. It all clicked for me. This is how it works, you know. And then I was digging deeper with my post, you know, lit, saying things that people could relate to. I'm a mom. I can't go to the gym. I'm busy. My husband owns his own business. So it was pretty much people being able to relate to me and seeing what I was doing. And then that, that opened up the door for the trust, and they wanted to join in too. And now, you know, I'm making several hundred dollars a week now. And I never thought I could do that before from a small town going to Disney world next in about two weeks, Rose going to Disney world. And it's all paid for from Beachbody. I've paid off two loans with Beachbody. So I don't know what you guys are thinking right now. You're probably thinking Rose is crazy. <laughs> Cause I was thinking that too. I was like all these Jersey girls, you know, but this is the real deal. You know, you're going to fix yourself on the inside. You know, we're never going to be perfect. You know, we're women. I don't think any woman truly looks in the mirror and say, Oh, I'm perfect. You know, but we're going to figure it out together. You're going to feel so much better about yourself. And whenever people start telling you, you know, thank you, Tracy, for helping me, you know, if it weren't for your support, you know, it just really means so much. It's not about the money. It's not all about Shakeology. It's about helping everybody. And this is truly 
it's just awesome. You guys are going to love it. You know, just stay dedicated. Be persistent with your posts on your social media. Work on yourself. You know, don't miss your workouts. You know, be true to what you're doing. I talk really fast, Rose. Sorry. <laughs> hey, no, that's fine. And I'm glad you stuck with it, obviously. Yeah. And that's why I love this, too, is, like, there would have been no other way I would have met you. Like, we would not have crossed paths unless, like, you came to the Jersey Shore or something, and I don't know. I knocked into you. But I've made so many friends through this business, and it's just been one of the best parts of this is just, connecting with people that you never would have connected with in the first place. And what Tracy was saying about, you know, she's from a small town. You can run your business on Facebook. There are millions of bajillion people on Facebook. So just because there's like, I don't know, like 200 of, of us in New Jersey and that are beach body coaches. I mean, obviously there's more than that, but that doesn't mean that, Oh, they're beach body coaches. This isn't going to work for me. There are so many other people that you can reach out to and everyone's going to relate to somebody different. Like moms really can't relate to me just because I'm not a mom. I don't take offense to that because I just, that's not me. Um, other people can relate. Um, you know, more people relate to me that are like newlyweds or people who are athletic trainers or people who work in the school system. Like people can kind of understand where I'm coming from with that. Um, so you know, be you, be authentic, because that's really what people are going to be attracted to. So how do you kind of, you know, just get started with this is you just have to just jump on in. I think, you know, I've done many of these before, um, you know, probably I've been doing these trainings for two years. And the people who, who succeed are, are really the ones that just go out there and put action, just, you know, they post, they invite people, they talk to people. You'll make mistakes. You'll make plenty of mistakes. And it's okay in this business. This isn't like high school where you have to get like a 4.0 GPA in order to get to this college. No, that, that's not what Beachbody is about. If you get one yes out of 10 no's, that's like you are still going to be successful with Beachbody. I'm trying to, to relate it even to like a batting average, you know, to have like a, I'm really not that into baseball, but people who have good batting averages strike out like eight out of 10 times. They fail eight out of 10 times, but because they are successful for two of those times, they're earning a million bucks or probably like hundreds of millions of dollars for being in the um, major leagues or whatever. So what I'm trying to say is just go for it. Invite people, post. You're going to make mistakes and that's okay because that's how you're going to learn like, oh, you know, I got zero posts or zero likes from this post. Guess I won't, you know, post about that or, oh my God, like I got 50 likes from a, I don't know, from a cookie recipe. Wow. I guess people really like recipe, you know, so you'll figure out your, your way. You just have to start somewhere and then you're just going to learn and build off of that. Um, you know, so first just start asking friends and family and be open and honest with them, you know, just by saying, Hey, I'm doing this beach body thing. It's completely new and different. Um, I'm really excited about it. I'm really not sure what I'm doing yet, but I think it would be a lot of fun if we did this together. I'm having a, a group that's starting on October 19th and, you know, start off with people that you feel familiar with. Um, you can even just say, Hey, you know, I could really use your help. And I would use this for people who would like, you would call at like three o'clock in the morning if your car broke down and you needed like someone to come get you. This is who I would kind of like ask this to is say, Hey, like I'm, I started this new beach body thing. I could really use your help. I'm looking for five people who can kind of give me feedback. I'm not asking you to do Shakeology forever, to be a forever customer. I'm just asking you to do it for one month and give me your feedback. That way I can then go and, and tell other people what you have had experience. And that's pretty much what I did for my mom. And that's what I did for my husband. I said, here, I bought you this shake. You're drinking it. Um, well, my mom, I kind of just took her credit card and say, I'm buying you this shake. You're going to do it. Um, my mom thought I was crazy. Um, Dave, my husband definitely thought I was crazy. He didn't tell me that at the time. Um, but now he's like, I thought you were absolutely nuts, but I'm glad you stuck with it. Obviously. Um, 
And my mom's completely obsessed with, obsessed with Shakeology. Like every time, every month she's like, when's it coming out? When's it going to be shipped next? Um, so, you know, just by asking people, even if they say no, it's okay. You just keep on asking more people. Um, and, and that's kind of what it's all about. Just getting yourself out there, making mistakes, learning from it. And then you're going to, you're going to succeed and you're going to pick up momentum and you're going to pick up speed. Um, so I'm actually going to be quiet and, um, kind of open it up to you guys, you know, whether you have a question, it really doesn't matter if you have a comment, question, you know, we got, we want to help you with whatever you're struggling with right now. So unmute yourselves and ask us a question or about any of the posts that um, we had this week so far. I have a quick question. Sure, Kirsten. When it comes to the challenge groups, like say you want to run a challenge group. Now, does it have to be a specific workout or can it just be like kind of a, like I want them to get a challenge, but does it have to be the same one to kind of base a challenge off of or can everybody get like a different, different one if they wanted to? Yeah, I would say um, you can do a mix of whatever, of, you know, okay. someone's doing Insanity or someone's doing 21 Day Fix or someone's doing Pio. You can put them all in one group. Typically, I would just ran like 21 Day Fix groups because that's just kind of the people that I kind of work with. I don't know, for some reason, the 21 Day Fix just kind of, you know, seems to be the thing. But here and there, I'll throw in a Pio person because you're really just talking about healthy eating, working out, and it can kind of all be relatable. So it's not like, you know, like you're in my, my 21 day fix group. Like I don't talk about like containers and all that. Like I share recipes, I share my workout, I share information on hydration. So no, you're, and I'm glad you asked that question because a lot of coaches do like you can make your group, mix it, up. mix it up, put whoever, you know, is doing the workout in there. And if you do ever kind of have like, I don't know, have like a straggler, like you have one person that's doing Pio. Um, ask in the team page and say, Hey, like my, I have one person doing Pio. Is anyone starting up a challenge group for Pio? So you can always throw somebody else in one of the other coaches, um, group. Too. And they also have about the same meal plan also now, like insanity, the 21 day fix Pio. So, you know, you okay. can mix it out and pretty much all has the same meal plan now too. So I think that's helpful. Definitely. Yeah. Cause people can even just buy the containers by themselves. And use it, yeah, for Insanity Max 30, Pio. So it's very, you know, transferable to each program. And now when you do a challenge, how, like, how long do you normally give? Like, say, if I want to set a challenge up, do you give, like, two weeks, three weeks? Like, do you, is there kind of, like, a time period? And what's, like, the best day? I typically do mine, like, two weeks in advance. So, for example, I'm just pulling up my calendar. Um, today's the 7th. Of October so I would probably start on the 26th I always typically start on a Monday um, because everyone's like it's like a fresh you know a fresh week so you know typically I'll do the two week that'll give you enough time to invite people it will give you enough time to do your event invite um, talking to people when you talk to people it's gonna some conversations are gonna last a couple of days you know it's not just gonna be a, a 10 minute conversation and done so you need that kind of that week to talk to people and then you have to realize too, it takes about seven days for people to get their stuff, their stuff in too. Yeah. Okay. Tracy, Tracy I'm obsessed you. with your accent. Sorry. I love your accent, Tracy. Thank you. <laughs> Tracy, what do you do for your challenge groups? Two weeks out? Um, I yeah, I usually do about two weeks out. I send um, personal messages, you know, like, hey, I don't know if you'd be interested or not, but, you know, stop, Elizabeth. But, um, yeah, about two weeks out, and then I always start on a Monday with a prep week, and then we do three weeks of the workout together. Okay. Other people tag along, they just stop. <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing, silly girl? We all can see you. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. What Tracy said was having a prep week too. So like I usually do like a like prep three days. So like the first three days, I'll just talk about um, getting your meal plan set up, talking about like grocery shopping, talking about um, 
prepping on Sundays, making your meals ahead of time. So I'll do that. Um, so I'll typically open up the group on a Friday if it's starting on a Monday and then do like prep day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then they start their workouts on Monday. Yeah, and I found also that, so I do my prep week, and the first week of like the actual challenge when everybody's working out, I've always set up like a small prize, um, and then I've started doing prizes like from Amazon Prime, you can get like PV2, and you can ship it to their house, everything for $5, that's a lot cheaper than like buying a big prize, and then you shipping it to them, so um, in the first week when you do prizes, it seems like that really kicks up the group, and they're getting more participation throughout the whole entire month, so um, I've done that before too, and that works out. Or just like a cute little bottle of season and like spice up your meals this month. You know, something fun like that. They like that stuff. That's cute. I like that idea. Anyone else? Questions? Comments? No one else? All right, before we go tonight, I did, oh, I see someone. What's Kim saying? I was gonna start my challenge group on the 19th. Would it be smarter to push back an extra week to the 26th? Great point, Kim. So say like you do have your challenge group that's supposed to be starting on the 19th and um, either you're still talking to people or people are telling you no and you need to you know push it back. You can totally do that. I think that's absolutely fine. And I'll tell you a little story too. My first challenge group, I got zero people. And you know what I did? I didn't run challenge groups for like the first two or three months I was a coach. And that was the biggest mistake I've ever made with this business is not running challenge groups because I got scared of that failure. Um, but then I realized, you know what? I just got to try it again. And I, I did. And then I got like two or three people. Um, and then it just grew from there. So if you need to push it back, I think you definitely can. There's nothing wrong with that. So I just wanted to show in our um, Coach Basics group. And you can do this in our team page too. There's a file section of documents that I already um, downloaded into here. So one is how to have a conversation with a potential customer. So this one's just gonna kind of go through, okay, you sent out your event invites or somebody posted or commented on your Facebook post. What do I say? Where do I go from here? This will kind of walk you through step by step. But if you're having any conversations, you're really not knowing what to say next, how to kind of connect the dots, ask us. <laughs> you know, post it in the page, post it in the team page, ask your upline, you know, how do I, how do I talk to this person? What's the next thing that I say? Your business activity tracker, that was a part of your like getting started right phone call of the activities that you should be doing, same, or almost pretty much the same thing as the three vile behaviors, but giving you just more of a dialed in pinpoint of what to do. So if you're having trouble of, okay, like there's so much going on because we're giving you guys a ton of information. You're going to be confused. You're going to be overwhelmed. No, that's completely normal. You know, no one came into this business knowing what to do, but if you can just pull this up and just kind of print it out and like have it by your computer screen, if you get kind of off track, you can just look at it and say, okay, if I do this, this, and this each day, I'll be good. Five-step invitation process, pretty much the same thing as how to have a conversation, just walks you through the invitation process. And then overcoming objections, you're gonna get a ton of objections. I don't have enough money. It is my kid's birthday next week. Um, I already drink a protein shake. I don't do shakes at all. I don't drink, um, I don't wanna drink my food. I've heard it all. Um, objections are just, People not understanding what it's about. It's just unanswered questions that they're having. That's what objections are. So when you get them, you have to realize, okay, if you got a money objection, are they seeing the value in, in what it is? Do they understand it? Um, do they see that you see value in it? And that was something for me when I first started. I didn't, um, I was shy, I was scared. I didn't really share much on social media. People didn't really like connect with me with Shakeology. 
Um, so when I brought it up to them, they were like, where is this coming from? Because they weren't kind of seeing that shown through. Um, but then over time, people could then relate and see like, wow, like Rose is really, you know, drinking this thing and she's happier and healthier and wow, like now she has a six pack and wow, that's crazy. I, I want that. Um, I want to feel like her. So over time, those, those objections will be answered and then those people that say no will come back. Um, so those are all in the file section right up here. And then also know there are tons of resources in your coach online office. So if you're in your main page, in your coach online office, just go to news and training, go to training, and then training library. And there is everything, challenge groups, business tracker, um, the compensation plan if you want to learn how to make more money, fit clubs, getting coaches started right, goal setting, inviting, about the lead program. Yes, we get free customers from Beachbody. How awesome is that? The National Wake Up Call. Beachbody gives you everything to be successful. It's all literally here at your fingertips. You just have to reach out, grab it, and just go with it and run with it. All right. Before we sign off, any last questions, comments? All right, I'm gonna do one little fun thing because I'm gonna make a post about this tonight. If everyone's by their computer screen, just do a big smile and I'm gonna take a screenshot of all of us. Good, great, that worked. So I like to share on social media about my team because there are so many women out there that struggle with feeling fulfillment with finding themselves and having something to look forward to that they can kind of make their own and, and feel that they're, you know, putting their mark on the world. So that's what I love to share about now too, not just the health and fitness aspect. So thanks ladies for joining. Um, I really appreciate you all coming out um, tonight and we'll catch you in the group. If you have any questions, message us. Let us know, post in the group, that is what we are here for. All right, have a great night. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye, girls. <laughs>